we just had an awesome sail. Um, we only did about two nautical miles. The next destination, which is Green Turtle Key, was only about two nautical miles, about half an hour, 45 minutes, and uh, we didn't care. Got the anchor up, got the sails up, and were heeled over because it was 17 knots of wind and made it here really quickly at like 6.7 knots. It was incredible. Uh, probably some of the fastest sailing turtle has done in a while. And now we're at Green Turtle Key and we are showered up and we are going to hit the town and have some dinner with our friends who have been awesome and we are going to spend the next few days here. Uh, we might even watch some kite surf and maybe try it ourselves. Probably not. Not right now. Uh, maybe later, <laughs> but it's going to be an awesome few days. We had an incredible day with our friends, riding around in golf carts and visiting almost every beach on the island. Happy, happy, Hello. happy, happy. Hello. The ketchup destroyed my glasses. Oh no. <laughs> it's very sad. <laughs> I think it's more the glasses' fault than the ketchup. <laughs> Right through the protective cover. Hanging out here on the Atlantic Ocean, there's a really interesting stone formation underneath us where like the rocks break over the stones and then the beach is right behind it, which is actually really cool because now instead of you getting like sand pushed up on you, it's actually breaking over the rocks and kind of gently coming in. Uh, so yeah, lots of great beaches today and this one was really unique. Green Turtle Key was a very cool little town. Um, very much still rebuilding after Dorian hit. And just like a lot of these little keys around here, we had an awesome time around. It's raining a little bit, so I'm, don't mind the rain, but uh, it was an awesome little town. We took a golf cart, went around town, enjoyed some of the beaches. We had very hard hitting discussions over a hammock. And now we are headed off to Crab Key. Our friends part ways with us here. So this is actually gonna be the first key that we visit on our own, explore on our own, and uh, see what it's all about. According to all of our all of our applications, there is no rain near us right now, or extremely little. But we are definitely getting quite a bit of rain pouring into the cockpit at the moment. At least the deck is going to be washed. Poor Dave had to go and battle the elements to get our anchor down in this rainy, foggy weather. Well, it was raining super hard, and then I went up in all my fall weather gear because it was just like a sheet of rain. And as I got up there, the rain stopped just as the anchor finished going down. So we were like, all right, it's gonna finish. We'll like get up there afterwards. We're gonna scrub the deck, use the rain to like wash everything off. And now there's no more rain. So at least it's not rainy, but yeah, would have been nice to scrub the deck down. Um, but Anchorage looks really nice and our anchor looks set. We, uh, we, we tried to spray all of the canvas to make it waterproof and it worked really, really well. Um, Smothern had discovered that right over the driver's position, we missed it. So yeah, she got rained on pretty hard just in that one spot that she had to stand behind for the wheel. So yeah, we gotta redo that. It is a cloudy day at Anchor today and I decided that we're gonna make some Korean-ish braised pork. So uh, never made this recipe before, but uh, trying it out for the first time. And by recipe, I mean something I just threw together based on one of the ingredients we had in the boat at the moment. So we're gonna use some of this. This is gochugaru, which is a Korean chili pepper. We have garlic powder, a little bit of cumin, and MSG, the king of flavor, or for that nice umami kick. So uh, in this little pan over here, I've got a pork shoulder, uh, a small piece just for the two of us, uh, some scallions, bell pepper, and carrot that I cut up, as well as some gochujang, which is Korean chili paste, some miso, um, all of these dry ingredients. And what we're gonna do is cook this at 300 for four to five hours until the pork starts really coming apart. And uh, yeah, basically it's gonna be a nice braised pork dish. Oh, and there's also star anise in here. So yeah, we're gonna try that out and maybe do that over some rice with some, maybe some cabbage on the side. So I'll get that tossed into the, I'm gonna mix all this up, toss it into the oven, uh, get enough liquid in here to braise it, and we'll take it from there. 
And note to other boat owners, you don't need to wait for bread to use your bread pan. <laughs> Apparently it fits braised pork perfectly fine. I hope. We'll see what happens in the oven with the shaking of the boat. See you soon. I mean, like, five hours. So after four hours, we have our pork is fully cooked. We can pull pieces right off of it. And they look delicious and tender, but not too soft. And they're infused with that soy sauce, gochujang, spiciness, and all the taste of the vegetables. Over some rice, this would be absolutely delicious. Look how soft that is. It's been almost two years now, and I think we bought a dive case for our camera. Uh, two years ago, thinking we are going to go on tons of dives and be able to use our camera under the water and really get great footage under the water, but uh, COVID happened and, you know, <laughs> everybody else knows that story. So uh, now we are finally getting it set up so we can go snorkeling with it. So first step is putting in the O-ring, then we're going to dip it in the water and make sure that the case itself is still waterproof. All right, let's hope there's no water in there. All right, let's pop it open. And there should be no moisture on the inside. on the inside other than what's coming in from the uh, the little bit that came in from the outside just now. All right, so time to put that camera in here. Camera's going into the case. Like so. That in there. Okay. And there it is. Should be able to. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Undo everything. Hold on. I gotta take the screen so we can actually see what's happening on the camera. So to turn it on, we should be able to press down here and twist. And there we go. Camera's running inside the case. I wanna give you a million things cause this isn't love what it's all about. How to make you smile again Something that I wanna figure out I wanna catch I wanna catch you like every time that you fall I wanna give you the world The world that is outside your walls If I was God, I would save you Take you where you belonged If I could, I would get Something new, something new Then I would have what it takes Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you, someone like you If 
of snorkeling awesome and the turtle was a very nice highlight now we enjoy the awesome pork that Dave made yesterday we're making some rice with it uh, maybe a side of carrots and bon appetit oh who's that <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put the dinghy up for the night but what a great day. Another great day in the Bahamas. It's a very few times when you do something crazy and it works out as well as cruising has. And I think every day we find ourselves even more and more lucky that we get to do this, sit in an anchorage in perfectly calm seas by ourselves, just hanging out, doing nothing, nothing productive anyway. Chasing turtles and fish. Chasing turtles and fish, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's a nice life. 